Hello my YouTube friends. This is Major from Major Honey. I'm coming at you today with a follow-up on a video I done on one of my boxes that we'd went we did a thorough inspection and did not find any evidence of a queen, some queen cells. I've give that uh, queen cell some time to hatch and now we're going to go into it and see if we have any evidence of a queen and then we're going to go from there to what we can come up with so we can decide on if we need to do anything different remember they were still plenty of bees in here They still, they still are plenty of bees in here. So let's put a little smoke on them. See what we come up with here. I got my lip balm yesterday from soaps and such. And I got my my first batch. So I put labels on them last night and we'll start selling those. Now you can see now this was a a, a new frame that I put in a couple weeks ago when we looked at them and you see they've they've pulled that out and it's almost full of honey on that side now that's one thing that it's tricky the bees will trick you you'll think that they're doing well you'll see them you'll see them like this there's a lot of honey you see them carrying in pollen and and all that but they still might not have a queen you know, because they'll continue to work because that's their nature. But then the colony eventually dies because when the bees die, there's not anything there to replace them. Oh, this frame's nothing but honey. We're probably are gonna have to end up going in to the bottom brew box to uh, see any evidence of a queen. We'll get closer over here to the typical center. Pollen, honey. What we're mainly doing is just looking for evidence of a queen. And there it is. see some larvae and eggs see that I hope you were able to see the larvae is about mm, four days old and right there's the queen right on the same frame <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can give you a picture of her. Me. Right there she comes, crawling down your way. So, yay! We went from a concerned box 
A lot of bees. But no queen now to a, a laying queen. Now, that's going to happen throughout your bee career, beekeeping career. You know, but that's the thing about it is if, <clears throat> if I hadn't been inspected, I wouldn't have known that there wasn't a queen. If I didn't do my splits more, or not my splits, I'm sorry, my inspections more often. But typically, your box is going to replace the queen and you won't even know it anyways if you just if you don't have a regular routine inspection that you do she crawled around on this other side she's sticking to the to the end down there so she's coming back up now so I'm done with this box for now. I don't have to go in any deeper because I know she's there. I've already seen eggs. Now, what I'm going to do is, because see, the poplars get ready to bloom here. The tulip poplar tree. And so the honey flow, or the nectar flow I should say, is going to be gang bunch busters here in another week or so. So, these frames that I've seen in here that were almost full of honey I'm going to probably in less than a week or maybe sometime in the middle of next week they're going to be capped and I'm going to pull that out and put in fresh foundation so she'll have somewhere to lay eggs and they'll have somewhere else to put the nectar and honey when, when they start pulling it in so this is another frame that, and more than likely in the bottom box there's a lot of honey, or she's already, so she's running out of room to lay, so she moved up to the second box. You know, a lot, you know, I've seen videos of people doing single brood boxes, which is fine. I mean, there ain't nothing wrong with none of that. I mean, everybody has their own techniques, but, but if you you have to decide on how you're going to manage your boxes based on your time you know if you if, if you're able to frequently inspect them and pull the honey out and add new frames then you know a single box would be fine because they can produce just as much but the thing about it is when you're a, a guy like myself that already has a full-time job you need a little bit of forgiveness so having two boxes gives you some forgiveness you can still you know they won't get honey bound before you can do your inspections see this was another one that they're pulling out on the end and a lot of it they put they put honey in it before she's had a chance to lay any eggs so she's looking around for somewhere to lay eggs. But I'll give this a little bit longer and then I, like I said, a week or less. And then, see this, all this is honey. these frames back very gentle like two frames on the end here almost full of honey so I'll definitely have to pull them out it's 
especially before the poplar starts to a poplar tree all right guys we're done with that one yay we got a queen that that's a a good follow-up video i didn't get my feelings hurt i got a double eight frame box full of bees with a laying queen that two weeks ago did not have a laying queen but uh, I, I probably would have never known if I hadn't have went in and, and done that deep inspection. Which, which would have been lucky for me because, you know, I would have still had a laying queen and not even known about it. <laughs> this is Major with Major Honey. Like, subscribe. Feel free to comment. And uh, if you have any questions or anything, I'll be glad to help you any way I can. Thanks. I appreciate you.